Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am on my way to Dallas. Actually, I'm on my way to Tyler, Texas to visit a friend. And we are going to go to Dallas tomorrow to just have a good time and then go to the We Need To Talk tour that Ezekiel Azanwu and Preston Perry are doing. Excited about that, a little nervous because men be kinda out of pocket sometimes. So I'm kinda like, also just don't like like don't know what the format of this talk is going to be so i, I feel like they're going to be there's going to be room for like not just Preston and ezekiel to talk and it's just like a little bit concerning because men really be out of pocket sometimes yeah i am like slightly concerned but also excited and just looking forward to going to dallas i really like dallas i've only been a couple times went in 2021 to visit her that was a fun time so i'm looking forward to it i was thinking about leaving tomorrow to go to dallas early in the morning but i got a burst of energy and decided to just leave now but yeah this is my hair i love 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 it got boho knotless as you can see this is my first time getting boho knotless and i just really like the the little look i like it i'll see y'all on the trip bye i haven't made it far i still got about Girl, I made no progress. Well, I made an hour, I guess, because it's really technically like five hours. So yeah, I made an hour. So I still have four hours to go. ETA is 10, 17. I was thinking that my ETA would be like 10, 30. So we're doing good. I'm not tired. I feel pretty awake. This is the only Chick-fil-A I've seen in a long time that doesn't have like people sitting out taking an order. I don't even know what I want, hold on. Jada, I was just listening to uh, what was it? The Place We Find Ourselves podcast. The most recent episode is trauma resilience in something about race. I can't see the rest of it, but that was a really good listen and has me really thinking about just how I've been navigating race related things and race related topics i feel like i've been very i think i've been just really navigating a lot of a lot of sadness and frustration which is not uncommon but more so than usual and i think part of it has to do with being at a seminary and um being in, in a very white institution and how that just kind of it's kind of a culture shock, honestly. I thought I was done being culture shocked. In terms of white and black relationships, I I thought I was kind of done being culture shocked there, but who? Yeah, y'all pray for me because it's been interesting. Wherever you listen to podcasts, if you listen to Spotify, definitely would recommend that particular episode. I can't talk, trauma, resilience, and something about race but also just a couple of other episodes on this podcast that are really good. Yeah, I just wanted to say something while I was kind of in a stop. I may or may not vlog for the rest of today. Being there at 10, I imagine that I'm not gonna wanna look at a camera. So if you don't see me today, I'll see you tomorrow. But yeah. We are in Arlington, mm -hmm. not Dallas. We're in Arlington. I made it in at about 10.30ish last night. What'd you say? I said late. It was late, but it was like not late enough where I couldn't get eight hours of sleep. So that's great. But we're about to eat at the Breakfast Brothers. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Say hello, Hadassah. Hello, Hadassah. Just kidding. <laughs> um, you be proud of us. We both did our makeup in the car. My makeup actually looks better right now than it ever does. Maybe I'll always do my makeup in the car. And Hadassah did her hair. She did her hair. Look at this. Look at this. She did this. 
in two and a half hours. <sighs> I, me, personally, could never. I'll show y'all breakfast and Thank you. what else we might be doing today. Can you mind going in the chicken for us? Yeah, I just love these Just tell them my name. Okay, bye. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, Hadass is gonna be showing <laughs> you how to... What are those? Cineplace twists? Hmm? As you can see, she is using the thingy... Crochet. The crochet <laughs> hook to put the curly strands of hair in the twist. You actually probably can't see it because the light is low. And then she's tying it up like a shoestring. And it hanging and... Doesn't she look fabulous? You can do this anywhere. You can do it at your house. <laughs> Walking down the street. <laughs> in the gym. <laughs> the gym might actually be a real good thing. Walk bent in your arms and get your arms slightly under the person, right? Mm. He should have already been close. It wasn't close enough. So I didn't get a lot of clips inside of the place, but this is my food. I got chicken and red velvet waffles and it was amazing. And I also got this mimosa. This is Q's bacon that he probably paid $10 for. I really hate that. <laughs> Hadassah got catfish and red velvet waffles, which I couldn't put together in my head, so I didn't get it, but it was also really good. We just finished eating at Breakfast Brothers and it was 10 out of 10. Sometimes places like that are overrated, but uh, <laughs> it's not overrated. It was so good. I could not bring myself to get the catfish and red velvet waffle. Oh, I'll put it up. But you that want catfish was so good. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I need to follow him. Now we're on our way to the farmer's market. I'll see you guys at the farmer's market. To the farmers market and this is my second time at Dallas's farmers market um, we tasted some wine and pretty much just walked around um, it's different from other farmers markets that I've been to because I'm usually at a farmers market to get some fruit or vegetables or something like that but clearly I was leaving Dallas so I didn't get anything um, but they have all sorts of things um, we also saw this black author who writes children's books and if I was still a teacher I would have definitely bought some of her stuff but I don't really have anything or any classroom to buy for so I didn't but definitely support her and then of course I had to get pictures of their vegetables and <laughs> some of their fruit just because I mean it's a farmer's market um five dollar okra anyway <laughs> I may or may not be trying boba for the first time today. Well, these ones are coffee ones. Coffee? Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. But what do you want? Like your boba? Do you like the one that pops in your mouth? Do you want one that's more chewy? I don't want to chew. I want the pop in my mouth. Okay. So then you see the ones that say popping next to it? Those are the ones that you Oh. <laughs> when you said popping, I was like, like popping. Like a lot of people are. No, like, like pop in your mouth. Okay, cool. Yeah, the good one first. Okay, I do want that. I also want it to be refreshing. Like, not so. What you can do is like, like a lemonade one. Get like a green tea one. Yes. But with like a flavor, and then you get like a flavor boba. Okay. 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 Let me see. Okay. I can get a green tea. Oh. I do like, no, I don't need any matcha. I don't need any matcha. Ooh, basil mint lemonade? But you can get it with both too. Probably so. Basil mint lemonade, and I can get the popping ones are on that side. Okay. Peach flavor in that? Uh, let me just get peach flavor too. Peach flavor? Yeah. Is that all for you? Yes. It's going to be classic. Hey. So, something about tasting boba was very familiar to me. Almost as if I actually have had boba before, but didn't remember. <laughs> but it was good. Um, the only issue I had was that it was too sweet. Like, I really made the mistake of getting sweetener in that. 
so yeah would not recommend that but the bow itself was good I don't know about y'all, but my first time hearing about Aritia was last summer, so it was pretty neat to go into the store. I love the aesthetic of this store, y'all. Like, they just are really good with the visuals. Like, look at this. It's so cute. Everything is color coordinated so nicely, and yeah, 10 out of 10. And as you can see, they were having that sale, so me and Hadassah had to try on something at least. <laughs> Um, and so we did and we got these jumpsuits. We are in the mall. We haven't really done much in the mall, just walked around, but I did get some stuff from Aritzia. I really just went in just because I've never been inside of an Aritzia store. So I wanted to see what it was like. And it's really cute in there. I ended up getting two things because they were, I think both of them were 70% off. We're in the food court eating Shake Shack. not the screen is just black and that's it it's still showing the time from when it blacked out and it won't let me turn it off and I don't know if it's charging or not maybe it has to die for it to work I don't know So we missed breakfast <laughs> and that's was like let's go in there and see you know what they have left and they did have a couple things left like some eggs and potatoes she looked at me and was like you want anything at the time that she was saying that this little child reached in there with a plastic fork put his fork in the eggs and touched it with his hands absolutely not we're gonna pick up something quickly um that was hilarious because we both looked at each other in solidarity, like, no. We're not gonna, um, what did he say? Manifest that? <laughs> <laughs> so, we just, well, we didn't really just get back from church. We just drove to Plano from church. We went to... What is the name of that church? Uh, Corn Concord. We went to Concord. And now we are at, I don't even know what this area is called in Plano, but it looks real rich. It's giving I'm too poor to be here. But um, we are gonna eat at this place called Haywire, but we're waiting on a friend of ours. We're gonna just walk yeah. around here for, I guess, about an hour until it's time. And, uh, eat come along with us as we pretend like we are rich i feel like we look like we're rich yeah we look like we have money <laughs> i think we'll blend in anyway i'm gonna get out this hot car those are really cute they are 200 dollars. i'm kidding i don't know <laughs> It's a cute Maywell though. We can go in.
something about Madewell just like screams money I don't know something about it I don't know if it's the denim jeans I don't know if it's the hundred dollar shirts but um yeah it was nice <laughs> going into Madewell but we definitely didn't get anything though it is such a cute store um I pretty much just walked around and took videos of things that I definitely wasn't gonna buy <laughs> And yeah, then I started smelling some candles because that's my favorite pastime and looking at myself in the mirror. we had to go into West Elm because I mean what's richer than rich and so <laughs> we walked around West Elm looking at couches and beds honestly the older I get the more that I just love things like this even if I don't have my own home yet I just really enjoy just looking at all of the different beds and chairs and blankets and things like that and here Hadassah is telling me about her room concept. <laughs> so yeah, we just kind of browse around West Elm and then we ended up going to this card store, or not card store, it was like a stationery store. Um, I think Hadassah got some cards and I just browsed because I just love stationery and looking at, um, yeah, cards. So that was fun. And then finally we went to eat with our friend at Haywire. I did not get a lot of footage in Haywire, but y'all, it is really nice in there and their food was delicious. Um, but yeah, this is like a small clip of the design of the place and I got a burger and fries. I can't remember what everybody else got, but nobody had any complaints. Um, the food was good. I enjoyed time with my friends and it was truly just a 10 out of 10 time. Like, I can't wait for the next trip. <laughs> 